Welcome to our deep dive into the world of prophecies and their significance in our modern world. Today, we're exploring a topic that intertwines religion, current events, and future predictions. The role of Islam in end times prophecy. Let's start by understanding the context of end times in religious prophecy. For many, the term end times conjures images of apocalyptic events, a concept present in various religions, including Islam and Christianity. These prophecies often interpret current global events as signs of an approaching end of the world. In recent times, the ongoing conflict in Israel, particularly the confrontations between Israel and Hamas, has caught the attention of many who study biblical prophecies. This turmoil is seen by some as not merely a geopolitical event, but as a significant sign of the prophesied end times. A recent news story sheds light on this perspective. Jeff Kinley, a well-known prophecy expert, discusses how the current events in Israel might be connected to biblical predictions. According to Kinley and others who study biblical prophecies, a crucial element of these predictions is the regathering of Jews to their ancestral homeland, Israel. The historical context is essential here. The establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 is seen as a monumental fulfillment of prophecies stated by every Old Testament prophet except Jonah. These prophets spoke of a time when Jews would return to Israel, which many interpret as a prerequisite for the unfolding of end-time events. Against this backdrop, the conflict between Israel and Hamas gains a different dimension in the eyes of those who interpret it through the lens of prophecy. They see these conflicts as aligning with the prophesied scenarios of wars and turmoil in the Holy Land preceding the end times. Kinley and others with similar views interpret these events as not just historical or political occurrences, but as divine signs indicating the approach of the end times as outlined in biblical texts. This perspective offers a unique intersection of faith, current events, and future predictions providing a complex and often controversial viewpoint on global events. While this interpretation is significant for many, it's important to note that it is one of many viewpoints. Interpretations of end times prophecies vary widely among different religious and scholarly communities. In conclusion, the ongoing conflict in Israel, especially the confrontation with Hamas, is seen by some as a fulfillment of biblical prophecies predicting end times. This interpretation highlights how ancient texts continue to influence modern perspectives on current global events. Meanwhile, in the Islamic world, the Hajj, a pilgrimage to Mecca, remains a cornerstone of faith. The journey, one of the five pillars of Islam, holds profound spiritual significance. In the realm of Islamic eschatology, there are prophecies that have intrigued scholars and believers alike, especially those related to the figure of the Mahdi. Prophet Muhammad made several predictions, and among them, the concept of the Mahdi stands out as particularly significant. The Mahdi, in Islamic belief, is a prophesied redeemer of Islam who will rule for several years before the Day of Judgment and will rid the world of evil. There are hadiths, sayings of Prophet Muhammad, that describe various signs and events leading to the arrival of the Mahdi. These include widespread injustice and chaos, wars, and the restoration of faith and justice by the Mahdi. In contemporary times, some interpret political upheavals, conflicts, and moral decline as signs of the Mahdi's imminent arrival. This interpretation links current events with these prophecies, providing a unique perspective on global affairs. Comparing Islamic eschatology with Christian eschatology reveals some interesting parallels and contrasts. Both religions have a concept of an end times figure, the Mahdi in Islam, and the return of Christ in Christianity, who will restore justice and faith. Both belief systems also predict a period of turmoil and tribulation before this restoration. However, the nature and role of these figures differ significantly. In Christianity, the return of Christ is central to the faith, signifying the final judgment and the establishment of God's kingdom. In Islam, while the Mahdi is important, he is not a central figure in the same way as Jesus is in Christianity. Another intriguing aspect is the growth rate of Islam compared to Christianity. Current trends suggest that Islam is growing at a significant rate, 
primarily due to higher birth rates in Muslim-majority countries. Some projections even suggest that Islam could surpass Christianity as the world's largest religion in the future. This demographic shift could have profound implications for global religious dynamics, potentially influencing how religious prophecies and eschatological beliefs are understood and valued in different parts of the world. In conclusion, the study of Islamic prophecies, especially those related to the Mahdi, offers a rich and complex view of how ancient predictions are interwoven with contemporary global events. The comparison of Islamic and Christian eschatology, along with the shifting religious demographics, underscores the dynamic nature of religious beliefs and their influence on global perspectives. From a Christian standpoint, various platforms like End Time Ministries offer interpretations of end time events. These include discussions on the rapture, the Antichrist, and interpretations of the Book of Revelation. This viewpoint often intersects with current global events, seeking to align them with biblical prophecy. The interpretation of end times prophecies in both Islam and Christianity continues to be a topic of deep interest and debate. The intertwining of ancient prophecies with current events provides a rich tapestry for understanding the worldviews and beliefs that shape our world today. As we observe these unfolding events, it becomes increasingly important to approach these topics with open minds and a respectful understanding of different religious perspectives. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of Islam's role in end times prophecy. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions on topics that shape our understanding of the world.